All right, welcome to the training, everybody. So we are talking about some more data labs tools from eBay. And this one is particularly interesting and I thought it would be very valuable to share with all of you guys. This is called What It's Worth. Surprise, right? What It's Worth. And um, you know, I like this tool. I'm gonna show you how it works. And in fact, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna message out to all of you guys who are here live with me. Um, let me just send, let me send this link out to everybody. It's datalabs.ebay.com slash worth.html um, pound slash index. Okay, I know that's kind of a mouthful. I just sent it out to all of you guys who are watching live. And if you're seeing this recorded, I'll just put it in like the description section of the video um, so you can look at it there. So this is pretty cool. So essentially you can go to this tool, it's an eBay sponsored tool, and I can go in here and I can type in anything I want and eBay is gonna tell me what they think it's worth, okay? Um, let's, let's test it, right, let's try it. Now I'm a, I'm a big advocate of um, like local natural honey. Because some of you guys know I actually keep bees. I've got two beehives in my yard at home. And so I'm a, I'm a big fan of, of local honey. And so let's say, for example, I was interested to see maybe what my local honey would be worth, right? My, my, my natural, unprocessed honey, what the value of it would be on, on a place like, e on, on, or on a place like, like eBay. Well, I would come to this tool and I could I, I could type in what it is. So I'm I want to know. Um, well, honey comes in a lot of different uh, different sizes, right? I mean, depending on what the size of the bottle. But I'm just going to start with saying um, I don't know. Let's do like natural pure honey, maybe something like that. Okay, we could do like unprocessed honey or there's different ways that we could say this, but let's just type in pure honey, okay? And I can do a search. This will be a little bit of a tougher example because honey comes in, in many, many sizes or whatever, and, um, but, but we'll see. So here's what's cool. You see some stats here. Um, and yes, of course, Jeff, you can use this for collectibles or anything. I think this tool is going to be particularly helpful for you guys who have stuff at home that you want to get rid of. Um, or maybe you're, you're out there picking up stuff at garage sales or, you know, you've got some antiques that you're wanting to sell and you don't know the, what the worth of those things are. You come here to this data labs and, and you type in um, what it is and, and eBay tells you what it's worth. All right, so you're going to see a range here. For pure honey, I have a, an, an average of twenty-four dollars, um, but the range is anywhere from twenty-two to twenty-seven dollars. It's saying, with a new status, with a used or other status, they're saying the average price is thirty-five from twenty-six to forty-four dollars is the range. And what's interesting is I've got this uh, price trend, and so I can see if there's any change in the trend of pricing. Um, apparently, it, it stayed pretty consistent, right? Somewhere in the range of between, you know, 17 and 25 bucks, but this will actually show you over time if there's been some sort of a drop or an increase in price um, throughout eBay. Because you know what this tool does that I think is just really fascinating? eBay has tapped into every single listing that's currently put up and that has been sold in the last whatever month or so. And they're pulling all of that information directly for us and sort of uh, displaying it in a way that we can make sense of it. So you can scroll down here and we can see what types of uh, products they're actually looking at. Now, here's the problem with my assessment here. I, I don't really have a size specified. I just said pure honey. So I could say maybe like, I don't know, one gallon maybe, or just, maybe I'll just write gallon. See how much a gallon of pure honey is going for. <clears throat> there you go, there's your average. 
93 bucks. And then it'll quickly actually show me, um, you know, you know, different uh, versions of that. Now I should probably specify specify even further. One gallon of pure honey, and it's just going to show me listings that are a gallon. So see how quickly I could research the market, right? If I had no idea how much a gallon of pure honey would would actually be worth, I use this tool, and within seconds, I know that there's a range here, somewhere between. According to this, you know, 55 and 63 bucks would, would be what the range is. And I can see other competitor listings right there in front of me. Um, so it's, it, it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. Now let's use a more common example, okay? Let's say you were looking for um, an Apple wireless mouse. Any of you guys use those? That's what I use at work and at home. I love them. Let's say I'm looking for an Apple wireless mouse, and I've I've got some that I'm trying to sell, and I want to know how much they're worth. Well, very quickly I can see new ones sell on average for about thirty six or thirty eight dollars. The range is somewhere between thirty six and forty one for new ones. So on the low side, in the past month, there's been one that sold for thirty six, but as high as forty one. If you're if the if you're selling used ones that are only worth 29, so you can see there's obviously a a dramatic decrease there. And over here on the line graph, you can see the averages, okay, or the price trend right there. Now, um, I like sales distribution. This is I think is very interesting. Uh, this shows you. Uh, I, I think this is a sort of like a per day type of thing. It might be it might be more of a per week, although doesn't actually give me a date range but i'm i'm assuming it's probably per day 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah i, I bet i'm i'm pretty sure this is a daily look but anyway as you notice so the the bars here are blue and red blue is for new uh this pinkish red color is for used. It's very clear what sells more on eBay right now, right? People are buying a lot more of these used wireless mouses than anything else. On on this day, there was 411 of them sold, and then new there were 73. So there's a market for both, and you can quickly see just exactly, um, you know, how many are are sold. And I think that's pretty valuable for you to get a feel for what the market is actually like. And I can quickly scroll down here. And I can see what uh, my competitors look like. These are existing listings on, on eBay. And if I were to click on one of these, it would actually push me out over to eBay and I could, I could look at the actual listing if I wanted to. But this gives me some kind of an idea. Okay, now um, there's a quality trend right here. Um, this is This is basically like the sales distribution. So this is, you know, a weekly trend, it looks like. So on this week, which would have been a, the week of 414 to 421, you had 173 used sold, and then you only had 69 new sold. So there's a couple of different graphs here that make this a lot more interesting. Um, the, but again, guys, this is this is really kind of a neat tool because do you remember the alternative? If you were trying to figure out how much something was worth, what was the old way to figure it out? If you didn't have this tool, how did you go on to eBay and figure out so how much something was actually worth? You guys remember? Um, and, uh, you know, your question, Kathy, you can use it with, um, I think you can only use it with Macs, actually. I think it has to be a, a Mac computer. Oh, I don't know. I, I use it with a laptop and with a, a Mac mini, so I, I couldn't really tell you. Yeah, I mean, you can look for similar items or sold items. I mean, I could come here and I could go wireless, Apple, mouse, and do a search. And it'll it'll give me a ton of data here. And then I what I would do is I would come here on the left and I, and I would filter these results. See, I can refine these and I could check out sold listings right here. Do you guys see that very well? I know that's really, really kind of small. 
let me let me show you right here. It's on the left hand side. I I can show only sold listings. Okay, so I I would click on that and it would filter all of these wireless Apple uh, mouse products and I would only be able to see the ones that sold. So I can do that. I'll click on that so you guys can see what that looks like. Sold listings. And that's going to that's going to show me uh, line by line sold ones. But see, it doesn't aggregate the data, right? This just shows me individual listings. Whereas for me, I think this is easier because it quickly aggregates that data and makes sense of it, right? I can see very quickly that a new Apple wireless mouse on eBay sells for around 38 bucks. Could it sell for more? Sure, and it says right here, there's been some that have sold for 41, but that's the high side. Most will sell for 38, or at least the average. Okay, does that kind of make sense? So it's it's a, it's a time saver type tool. I, I really like this. I played with this for a while, and, and I'm gonna be using this all the time with stuff that I'm selling. So the reason why you'd use this tool is you've got stuff from around the house, you don't know how much it's worth, check it here. Maybe you're researching a supplier and you're looking at products and trying to decide if you can make money off of it and you know what your costs are going to be and you're wondering what, what it's actually worth on eBay. Check it out and look it up in this, in this little tool. Remember, remember this, it doesn't matter what the suggested retail price is on something. If you've ever gone shopping before and you see, hey, an MSRP, it was $89.99, and it's scratched out, and it's like, but today it's you know, $69.99. What's it, what's it really worth? Is it really worth $89.99? No, the, the value of something is only what somebody is willing to pay for it. It's just like with a face value on a ticket, right? I, I, uh, I go and buy a ticket to a sporting event or a concert, and it says face value, $150. Bucks. But if I only paid... 125 bucks for it, it's really only worth 125 bucks. It's not worth 150. It's how markets work. Price is, uh, or the worth of something is just what somebody is willing to pay. And that's why eBay is pretty powerful, this tool here, because we can see real time what people have paid. And so I can have a much better idea of what it's worth. Okay. All right. So um, questions about this tool. Does that kind of make sense? I want to make sure uh, you guys are able to use this, especially you newer clients that are here that are trying to maybe sell a few things from around your house to get your feet wet on eBay. Um, this tool is is pretty darn cool. Gives you all the information you need to know, trends, etc. If you want more specific results, you have to do more specific searches. Just like I showed you earlier, if I type type in pure honey, it'll it'll show me results for stuff that's related to pure honey, but you know what, since there's so many very varying degrees of sizes, um, you know, it, it, the, the results are going to be skewed. So if you want very specific numbers, you have to be specific in the keyword search you put in. All right. Um, okay, let me see if there's any, qu if you've got any questions, go ahead and ask away. That's a good question, Peter. Who would who would actually want used honey anyway, right? <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's really a thing. I thought that was weird that that was actually showing up. Yeah, that's a good idea, Russell. If you've got you said you've got some art, this is a great way to do it. Um, sell one. If if I want to sell one, I simply just click on this. It'll log me into my account, and it'll it'll uh, automatically sort of put me ahead in my listing, and I can, you know, I can I can quickly get a listing up. So that just connects you to eBay, so you can actually sell one. Buy one does the same thing. I'm not really as interested in using those those two buttons as a, as I am in just the data itself. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, guys, I hope that was helpful. I, I'm not going to go any longer than this. This is this is enough. I think you should be able to play with it and have some fun. This is a free tool. It doesn't cost you anything. So hop on and use it. Um, 
And if, if, yeah, you can access the tool by the link that I sent out. So let me, let me send this link out just one more time. There you go. That's the link again. You know, the right, the right price I think comes from sold items, Russell. So if you're, if you're looking at prices that are just out there on eBay versus prices of things that actually sold, the sold ones are going to give you a more accurate picture of what something is actually worth. You'll see a lot of things on eBay that are priced way too high. They're overpriced. And so that, that data is not as useful. So this is really aggregating your sold data and, and pr making some sense out of it, which is why I think this tool is pretty nice. Yep, it'll definitely help you with your pricing, for sure, Debbie. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no shipping filter on it. But what you can do, of course, you can do, the, do it the old-fashioned way right here and filter this with sold listings and free shipping, and then, and then you'll get a better idea. Good. Get right on it, guys. This will be a good tool for you. So we will see you all in two weeks. Remember, not next week, but the following. And uh, good luck working on your eBay. Let us know how we can help, okay? Thanks again.